it has multiple modes, okay? You can switch between automatic and semi-automatic by pressing the B button on your keyboard. To swap between automatic and semi-automatic. I'm going to do semi-automatic because they've recently made changes to this gun that... What up guys, Astro Manny here back at it again with another video. How's it going? We're back in the Aurora, we're back in Microtech, and we're chilling. You know, it's the new player guide series has returned, we're in the same armor, rocking the same things, nothing has changed, we're just going on and continuing. It's been a couple of days since I've done the recordings, but I made this ship and this armor specifically saved in this ship so that I could come back to it and not have anything change for you guys. So today, we're going to continue on to episode 3, I think this is, of the new player guide. I didn't mark them with episodes or anything, but uh, this is episode 3. And today, we're going to do our very first bunker. We did a little bit of money making and service beacons, and we did delivery missions and gathered up some gear, materials, and, and drinks, and food, and things like that. Today we're going to go do our very first bunker mission, so I know a couple of you guys are excited about this. And we still don't have any fancy guns, guys, but that's okay. You can still go do your first bunker mission without any fancy guns. I'll show you how it's done, we'll get it done, plus we have our pistol, right? You start off with the arc-like pistol with one extra magazine, so we do have a gun if we need it. So that uh, We're also going to be using our multi-tool, so make sure you have your multi-tool, guys. Make sure you have your multi-tool with the tractor beam, that's important. Okay, sound good? Well, let's get into it, guys, and you know what to do. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you know when I go live and when other things happen, like videos drop, and anything you need to know is down in the description. And if that doesn't help, just leave a question down in the comments. Thank you guys um, for all your support. I appreciate you guys. Live streams will be coming back soon, real soon, real soon. They will be coming back Monday of next week, so stay tuned for those. Okay, anyways, let's get into this video, you guys. We're in the Aurora, like I said. Just hanging out in the Aurora. We might change other to different other starter ships and whatnot. Again, you probably won't have all these missions that I have and whatnot, but what we're going to do is we're going to go down the Mercenary tab, right? And... Um, we're going to do our very first bunker mission, which is, for you guys, and for me, both of us, is going to be Security Contractor Evaluation. If this is your very first bunker in Microtech, this is what your bunker will be, Security Contract Evaluation. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to accept this. And we already have Call to Arms already accepted, so that's good for us. And we're going to go to this bunker. Where is it? It's on Microtech, I believe. Yes, it is. So we're going to go down to Microtech. And we're going to do our very first bunker. Now, again, we don't have any fancy weapons. We just have our pistol. Just our pistol. But it's going to be okay. We'll, we, we're going to live with that. And this very first bunker, so what's going to happen? I'll, I'll talk you guys through it, right? While we're quantum driving and all that stuff. Um, what's going to happen on this very first bunker, guys, is we're going to get there. And there's going to be ten enemies that we're going to have to kill. But there's also going to be security guards in the bunker as well. So the security guards and the 10 enemies are both already going to be spawned as you uh, get close to the bunker. And the, the turrets on the bunker are going to be friendly, so you don't have to worry about the turrets attacking you or anything. Just land up front and go do the bunker. Man, it's beautiful on Microtech during the day. Whew, might get a nice little screenshot down here, guys. Well, let's see if we can do that. But anyway, so there's going to be 10 enemies to kill. And there's going to be security guards helping you kill those enemies. So theoretically, hopefully those security guards can kill a bunch of those enemies without you even lifting a finger. Which means there's going to be free loot down there just for you to pick up. You don't even got to worry about doing the killing yourself. Hopefully the AI can do the whole mission for you. It's quite possible that the AI security guards will kill the entire Nine Tails people down there without you having to shoot one of them. And it's quite possible the other thing might happen where the Nine Tails guys kill the security guards without the security guards taking out a single one of them. So it could go either way. So do be aware of that. And uh, yeah. What I'm going to show you guys, like I said, is you have your arc like pistol just in case you need to shoot somebody. But you need your multi tool so that you can drag a body or a gun to you so you can get a gun off the ground. I'll show you how that's done. Very first bunker. 
if you didn't get lucky in your looting in your delivery missions and stuff then you might not have a actual main hand gun but we'll take care of that like i said easy peasy don't worry about it don't overstress. i am doing this on a really high fps server this is early in the morning there's nobody online and it is a really good server so the ai are going to be on point most of the time if you guys are doing this you guys might be in a server that's full of players and the ai will be very slow and sluggish which makes it easier for me the ai are going to be on point it's going to be scary we'll see how it goes i was going to park with the ship facing the uh so we still have security guards down there so that's good good knowledge is that we still have security guards down there i was going to face the bunker but i want to get maybe a nice screenshot so we'll land like this like this yes like that oh yeah oh yeah we got a nice screenshot right here like this oh yeah just like that and then even better we'll get a nice screenshot oh look see nine out of ten hostiles remaining that means it's here eight out of ten hostiles remaining that means the security guards are putting in work and we don't have to worry about taking out everybody seven out of ten remaining let's get a nice screenshot while they're killing things we're just wasting time while the ai do all the work for us that's our thumbnail right there guys our very first bunker right there that's the thumbnail Let's see if we could back up the camera just a little bit. Very first bunker. <laughs> There's choices for the thumbnail. I think the close-up one's going to be the winner. Five out of ten remaining. See? See what I mean, guys? The AI are taking care of the work for us. Can we even get back into our ship? Yeah. That, that kind of proved it if I jumped correctly. Yeah. Okay. And then we could also probably get in through this door. You do have to be careful when you're landing sometimes that, uh, yeah, you see, sometimes you can get un, uh, not the perfect landings, basically. <laughs> Alright, so here we go, go, going into our very first bunker. It looks like maybe all the security guards died. So, we have to be careful, because there's five hostiles remaining. Again, five of the ten are dead. So, 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 so take a breather. Just breathe. It's going to be okay. Now, what I recommend is stay close to the elevator here. This is your very first bunker. You haven't done it before. Um, we'll come back and loot that. We're going to come back and loot that box. We're going to come back and loot that box. But what we're going to do is we're going to try to stay hidden. We're going to try to stay hidden, and we're going to look for a gun to use. Okay, we might not be able to. There we go, right there. So we're going to pull out the multi-tool, we're going to grab the gun. And we're going to move to safety. Boom. Okay? Now, you're only going to have the one clip, the one magazine. <laughs> I, I love saying that. We're going to equip that. There you go. We have one magazine. So it's not the greatest. It looks like they have taken care of... We still have the 60 bullets in our pistol as well, guys. We have 60 bullets in our pistol. And we have 60 bullets in this SMG. That should be enough to take out these five guys. Again, the, the bunker I'm on, or the server I'm on, is really really alive like the AI are are ready to pop so I'm gonna hang out here in the front the I'm actually gonna play like a scared little baby Let's see what's going on. let them come to me they're gonna come to me I do not have a silencer on this gun so they heard me blast that guy in the face and now we have information on where the other en enemy targets are I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this guy's gun. 
this is a shotgun. It's not going to be very helpful. But the other enemies, we can see where they are. So we can kind of get out a little bit. Where's his gun? Alright, so they're back to not knowing where we are. Here we go. Another gun. A P4. This is your standard gun. I'm going to show you guys this real quick on my P4. Okay, I'm going to hide back here real quick so we don't get shot. It has multiple modes, okay? You can switch between automatic and semi-automatic by pressing the B button on your keyboard. Swap between automatic and semi-automatic. I'm going to do semi-automatic because they've recently made changes to this gun that have made the automatic part of it have really, really high recoil, has lots of kick, so I prefer to do semi-automatic. Plus, we can conserve our ammo since we only have 30 bullets. Now let's go hunting. Sadly... Don't let the bastard escape. Find him. We got one. Oh my gosh. What happened to the marker? And he ate so many P4 shots. So they know we're here. They're going to come to us. Again, I'm playing like a little baby. I am. 100%. Because the server FPS here is high. So I will get shot. This is good gameplay, actually, guys. I'm going to swap to the other gun. Because it's automatic and a, and a shorter range. Now I'm going to go find these guys. I'm hunting for them. Earlier they had markers. I don't know why they went away. Is this a guy? Got him. You see, this custodian is a monster, guys. There it is. Mission complete. This custodian is a monster. Okay, so now this entire bunker has been cleared out. This is your very first bunker. Complete server contract evaluation done. You have 15 minutes to leave here before uh, the cops get mad that you're lingering around, right? So now let's loot the entire bunker, right? So we started here. There was this guy here. There's some multi-tools. You can go ahead and grab some backup multi-tools. Grab these tiger claws. They're pretty good. Some backup tractor beams. Why not? Some combat knives if you like those sort of things. So go ahead and grab those. Um, and then here's a medical loot box. It has a med gun. You can put that on your pocket. So I, I just double clicked and put that in my pocket. And then you can take the med refills, ref, refills that when you run out of the med gun gel you just replace it with that, and then boom. You could take a second one if you want to. It's not necessary. Um, it's kind of heavy. You, we only have so much room because we don't have a backpack. Um, so, like, again, you could take more. It's not necessary, really, but that's the only things I would take from the medical stuff. The other stuff is not important. If you want to know more about the other medical pens, I have videos on my channel that talk about full medical gameplay. And you can check those out. You can also loot all these guys and see um, what they have on them. You can take their gear if you want their gear. You can take their ammo, their med pens, by the way, their med pens. These guys with armor have med pens on, so you can go ahead and double click that and put that in your inventory. And he has full heavy armor, that guy right there, so the, the guy we looted. So you could loot him for full heavy armor. We're going to go around and keep searching. Here's another guy who will have a med pen on him. Um, so we're going to loot him up. He's going to have a med pen. We're going to take his med pen. We're actually going to take his gun here. The C-54. That guy right there. We're going to actually place this guy down. As much as I love the custodian so much more, the C-54 they have ammo for. So you see how it's 34 out of 80. And because we took the magazines off of him we now have extra ammo and and since we're wearing medium armor we can only carry one weapon on our back we don't have a backpack if you have a backpack you could carry two weapons on your back if you have heavy armor you can carry two weapons on your back but we only have medium armor actually we're wearing light armor this is what you're looking for the red boxes the red boxes are going to have guns nice guns in there there's a whole demico that's the new gun that we're going to swap to because that is the gun of the world 
in my opinion. It's also an S71 bullseye rifle. It's a pretty fancy looking gun. Um, I like that. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this guy in our hand, the Demico. So we're going to, we can carry one gun in our hand and one gun on our back with the current armor we have equipped it. You could also swap out armor if you want to. If you want to go ahead and put the heavy armor on that the, um, that the, the dude bro ham was wearing, we'll show you other armors to choose from as well. This is when you're doing bunkers. This is where you get your armor, right? This is where you can figure out what kind of loot do you want to have. Like, what kind of stuff do you want to have? Here's another one. Ooh, we get the um, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, P6 too, and a railgun. Okay, so I don't. Again, the people are going to be upset. I don't care about the railgun. <laughs> Especially if you're a new player, you shouldn't care too much about the railgun. It is nice to have to maybe sell to a player. And may, and it's a really cool gun. It's the big boom gun, right? It shoots freaking giant railgun shots. That's absolutely amazing, guys. Like, that's cool. But, you know, yeah. So, this is a good loot box. We're going to come back to this. I'm actually going to drop this. And I'm going to put the ammo in there because we need the ammo. Okay, and then what I want to do is I'm going to place this down on the ground, and then I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hit J to go customize mode, or you can hold F and hit customize here, and I'm going to customize this gun. I'm going to take off the compressor, and then I'm also going to take off the sight, and then I'm going to place this gun on the ground. And then I'm going to grab the Luminalia one because it's cooler. There's even more ammo here. And we, I'm going to get rid of at least one of these combat knives. I need more space for ammo. We don't need all these gels, to be honest, for ammo. Here we go. Oh. Okay, there we go. It says that it can go. Oh, that ammo wasn't actually there. It was fake ammo. Okay, whatever. We don't need those gels anyways. We're running out of time. Anyways, we can hit customize again. And we can put the compensator on there. And then we can hit back. And then we can hit that. And hit the scope on there. And beautiful. Now that's looking gorgeous, right? Also, don't forget our Demico. Because we do want our Demico. I kind of want that P6, guys. Uh, we'll think about maybe taking more and more out and uh, doing more stuff, but seems to be a dead player there, or maybe it's not a dead player, I don't know. There's more medical loot, we don't need the medical loot. This is heavy armor from an NPC, or from a security guard, so if you're going to swap to heavy armor, this is the recommended one I would do to put on the security guards heavy armor because then you don't look like a nine tails and possibly won't get shot by other players uh here's more c55 ammo if you want the c55 and stock up on that and put drag another one in there dun, 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 dun. and so again yeah this is your very first bunker so take your time there's more npcs uh security guards and here's another red box that's a P4 rifle. Ooh, 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 that's a nice helmet, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, the helmet we had before is a nice helmet, too. So it's it's really... Take your, take your pick. I actually prefer the other helmet, but I think a lot of you guys will prefer this helmet. So that's a good find. Um, I'm just searching for more loot boxes. Searching for more loot boxes. Searching for more loot boxes. There's a security guard. Um, more loot boxes. More loot boxes. So the the spawn points for loot boxes can be just about anywhere. Um, they, they could spawn like down there. They could spawn down here, right there. Um, they could spawn back here on the shelf. They could spawn there on that table there. They're on that table there. They could spawn in so many different places. The more you do them, they could spawn on that. Uh, the more you do this, you'll know where the spawn points are for the loot boxes. So, um, yeah, 
the more you do it, the more you'll get used to it. They could spawn here. They could their multiple boxes could spawn there. Um, and they obviously could spawn there. It could spawn there. Did we check that one? I think we did. Yep. So I'm just showing you guys a couple spots. Um, but yeah, they, they, they could spawn in so many places. They could spawn here. They could spawn on that shelf. Lots of different places. Um, they could spawn on the forklifts again. They could spawn where they already spawned over here, right there. They could spawn down there. They could spawn right there. And they could spawn right there. Okay? All those cool places they could spawn. Absolutely fair places for them to spawn. Okay, I'm going to put that demo code down on the elevator, and then I'm going to do the trick to move all these bodies and grab you a couple sets of armor. Now, you could grab Ninetales armor if you want it. You can use your tractor beam, and you can go and use the Ninetales guys. But I don't recommend using Ninetales guys because they are enemies, and they get shot at by players you know like you see if you see that color if you see purple or pink the first thing you do is you shoot you don't ask questions you shoot no questions you fire so what am i doing i'm taking these bodies and these are my three security guard armor sets i'm taking you could take medium armor heavy armor whatever armor you want um preferably i like to run medium armor because it looks cool and uh, you still get the little bit of both best of both worlds. You get a little bit of movement speed, and you get um, the uh, the armor protection. The multi tools tend to act up a lot in this patch 3.22. You see how the multi tool is not like straight looking forward; it's like looking to the side. It's really annoying. Like hold the multi tool correctly, please. Nonetheless, this is how you take your bodies up. Some people will say, well, why don't you get an SEU box to bring an SEU box? Because I'm a brand new, I'm pretending I'm a brand new player and I can't afford an SEU box or I don't know what an SEU box is. That might come in a future video. Right now, I'm showing you how to old fashioned way to take the bodies and bring them with you to do what you need to do. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. And beautiful, right? Three suits of armor um, I would recommend picking up your gun before you go up the elevator sometimes it can be a little buggy and the gun or even the bodies can fall through the elevator so do be aware of that but it seems that we're doing pretty well here and not having any kind of bugs and uh, doing what we need to do so good for us there all right see how the multi tool is like held down that's not supposed to be that way I don't know why it's doing that. Dang, we've been in this bunker for so long, it's nighttime now? Holy, holy cow, it's only been like 15 minutes. We've used the whole 15 minute timer. <laughs> we could even grab the gun with the multi-tool, right? So, put the gun here, and then we'll put the bodies. So, we're running out of time here, by the way. You need to do this all in 15 minutes, because if you take too long, the turrets on the bunker will start to fire at you, because you will be trespassing. Right now, we are okay because we were asked to be here by the cops. They asked us to be here. And so we're okay. But, in that when that timer runs out, they will fire upon our ship and us. Well, the turrets won't fire upon you on the ground. The turrets don't fire on ground targets. They only fire on ships. But, um, nonetheless... But we've safely secured our three sets of armor. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get our Demico because this is the gun of choice, really. It really is my gun of choice for most efficient gun in the game. Um, okay. Are all three in here? I don't know. So, again, we're going to put the Demico in our vehicle. And then what we can do is we can loot the bodies. And what you do here, guys, is you loot the body and you just click on the, uh, you double click or shift click on the undersuit and it'll take the whole set over into, into the other tab or drag it, mind you. Um, 
but maybe we're running out of room. Uh, yeah, so you see, we don't have enough space in the Aurora. <laughs> we don't have enough space. Okay. That's okay. We can just take these bodies with us. It's going to be a little bit crowded in here. We seem to only have two. We're missing the third one. Thought I threw him out the window. Where did he go? I don't know. We don't have we don't have time to look for him. Whatever. We only got two armor set. Oh, there he is. I found him. We're gonna have to take this back to Port Tresler and um, secure some armor. Okay, guys. Now let's close these doors. Close these doors. And enter the pilot seat and get out of here. Beautiful stuff. With one minute to spare, it wasn't even close. Never didn't have it. Beautiful. Don't take off like I just did. Take off by actually looking where you're going. <laughs> we only have 30 seconds till we're trespassing, but we're well out of turret range now. No problem. We're going to set our trajectory to 90 degrees, so we're going straight up. Because we got to get to the 11 kilometer point to be able to quantum since we're on a planet of Microtech. And then we'll make our way back to Port Tresler to be safe. Sometimes the bodies can disappear, the ones sitting in the back of your ship, um, by you taking off and flying. So if that is the case, then oh well, sorry. We should have came, we should have came here with an empty ship and not a ship already full of stuff. But I'm doing this on my main account, so I kind of have gear everywhere and I didn't want to get the gear for this series messed up with the gear that I actually own. So I left it in the ship and that's the case. Oh well. Um, I'm going to go to OM1 and OM2. Remember how I told you guys how you can use OM1 and OM2 to go to where you want to go? But it turns out Port Tresler is actually able to be Quantum 2 from this location that we're currently at. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Okay. And we're going to fly in super speed like crazy. Do I recommend going full speed at a station if you're new to the game? No. Um, but if you must do, you can go ahead and do it. And then make sure you just hit the brakes. Or at least don't aim for a place that you could actually hit the station. You know, like you saw how I had my trajectory at a place that was like not on the station itself. So I knew no matter what, if I overshot it, like I did, I did overshot it just a little tiny bit, that I was safe because I wasn't going to hit anything. See what I mean? Okay. No fancy landing this time. We're just going to do a nice little beautiful come in touchdown. I think gorgeous. Now, a lot of my fancy flying like that and landing is because I'm flying decoupled mode. Again, maybe in the future we'll do, or not maybe, but for sure in the future at some point we will be doing a video on vector landing and decoupled mode and things like that. Turns out our bodies are safe and secure. So now that we're here at the station, we can go back to looting the body and we can hit local. And in my local, it does have my gear that I took off when I was originally here. So um, I'm gonna get rid of this gear that's in my local uh, at some point for you guys. I'm gonna go put it in a ship or something so that's safe or out of the way because we're using Port Tresler as our home base. But anyways, what you can do again is by clicking on the, the undersuit, it takes the whole thing over. You see it took everything over by clicking on the undersuit. And now what I can do is I can click on the other guy and click on the undersuit and it takes the whole thing off of him and now he's completely naked. 
right? And then I can click on the other guy, and I can click on local. And I can click on the multi-suit to make him completely naked. I can open up a door. While you're in the hangar on a station, you can use your tractor beam. So we can take these dead bodies out of the ship very easily by using the tractor beam. Boom. There you go. Um, we can go back in our ship and we can take out the rest of the gear that was in our vehicle that we took off. Put that in the local. We could store the rest of our gear and stuff that's in the vehicle, but I'm not going to do that actually. I'm just going to leave this stuff here um, for now. And uh, yeah, that was it. That was our very first bunker. We got a lot of loot. A lot of loot for our very first bunker. And um, remember, we got that Demico in here somewhere. Oh, no, the Demico's in the vehicle. So remember, we have the Demico in the vehicle, right? We have the... Yeah, we have the Demico in the vehicle. There it is, yeah. Can we click on... There we go. Vehicle. And... the vehicle and our our personal inventory right let's put these extra things away we don't have a demico on us so we're going to put the demico ammo away we're going to put i meant to click on doing that we're going to keep two extra gels on us we're going to put the extra multi-tool and stuff away and uh try to stay as light as possible sound good Looks good to me, guys. And you guys know how we gotta end this video, right? We gotta go to the hot dog stand. We gotta store our ship and go to the hot dog stand. Hope you guys enjoyed that very first bunker. Now that you have some ammo and you have some guns, you can go in a lot more guns blazing, right? You don't have to go all conservative like I was and be safe because you can. You now have armor. You now have weapons. You now, if you die, you have backup armor, right? In our local inventory, guys, we have backup armor. We have three sets of heavy white microtech armor for backup if we die. We're good. You shouldn't be afraid of dying anymore. So and then you have the undersuits and all all the stuff. Um, not any really extra weapons. Those are my weapons. Ignore those. Um, you know. You have a couple extra uh, med guns, but those are back in the vehicle. Anyways, now you can do bunkers. And what you do now in the mercenary tab is you look for defend occupants. Defend occupants is now your bunker. It's the same exact thing we just did. Ten enemies, security guards down there. And um, go have fun. Shoot some bunkers. Maybe we'll do some videos on doing solo bunkers with the gear that we're already wearing. Maybe that's the next video. Maybe it's not. Maybe there's a different video I already have planned. There probably is. I think there is. But until that time, until next time, enjoy your hot dogs. Enjoy your new helmet and all that stuff. It's kind of crazy what? looking with the eyeballs. I never noticed how crazy those eyeballs look. Don't what me, lady. I was going to tell you I hope you're having a wonderful you day. Something. Use the terminal. Um, that's what it's there, for. there is no terminal here. Thank you very much. All right. I don't need no lit from you when I'm trying to do my outro. All right. All right. Well, thanks, guys. You guys know what to do. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. And subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you guys are enjoying this new player guide. If you have any questions, oh. leave them down in the comments okay. below. I don't know what is up with this um, glitch with my helmet and my armor. I don't know what's going on there, guys. Until next time, this is Astro Manny signing off. I hope you have a wonderful day. And, uh, you know, adios, guys.